Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the Dave Chappelle attacker. Apparently, his defense for attacking Dave Chappelle was he was triggered. His his literally, he said he was triggered. His feelings were hurt by Dave Chappelle's jokes. So he tackled Dave Chappelle on stage. And mm -hmm. this is a guy who uh, purportedly had a weapon that was a, a, a fake handgun with a switchblade end on it. Yes, because why would you okay? Why would you disguise your blade as a gun? How I did, mean, that doesn't even make sense. How did he get into the show with it? And that's what I'm saying. You, you can't count with guns, okay? But he hid the knife in the gun? How did he get that into- That doesn't even make sense. How did he get in the show? Why was he at the show? How did he even get in the show? Yeah, here's a good question. How did he get in the show? We're going to talk about that. Dave Chappelle tickets. I don't know what this particular event cost, but they're not cheap. Dave Chappelle tickets no. are not cheap. And um, they keep writing that this person's homeless, but in the one article, they're like, well, he used to be homeless. So he's upset because he used to be homeless. His home is now jail. Or his home is now <laughs> a lot of money someone gave him to do something. Something, Who knows? something stinks about this whole situation because this guy would not voluntarily drop that much money to go to a Dave Chappelle stand-up routine when he knows how offensive Dave Chappelle's comedy can be to sit there quietly and chuckle. He went with, I believe, malicious intent, whether or not he paid his own way. Well, clearly he brought the weapon with him. Right. Or he snuck in a door. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, nobody's saying what happened. Um, yeah, so, like, did someone let him in? Did he have a ticket? Did he sneak in? Was, was it set up? Who the hell knows? But uh, just the fact that, that that this person who's in their early 20s thinks that being triggered by jokes is a legit defense against attacking, physically attacking someone. With a knife. With a knife. Well, Disguised as a gun. Right. Like, it intent to harm. Any sense. Clearly, this person <laughs> had intent to harm. Well, he didn't um, mean to, he says. I wasn't going to hurt him, but I brought a gun disguised, a knife disguised as a gun. Yeah. So he was afraid he was going to, you know, your, your expression, you brought a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. He figured his bases were covered both just, ways. Just both. We're going to bring both. Didn't help. Uh, the guy, I saw the video. This is, this is the weapon he brought. Um, and you can't tell me that, uh, I didn't mean to hurt him. I didn't mean to hurt him. I, whoops. I just didn't have time to get out the knife. Um, yeah, you went to the show. You knew you'd be triggered. You went to the show specifically, I believe, to harm Dave Chappelle. The guy gets off with a misdemeanor uh, instead of a felony. I know Dave Chappelle is not happy about that. Now, Rolling Stone uh, is coming out and they're being like, you know, taking the other guy's side. Dave Chappelle reportedly told the accuser, uh, the accused attacker, your story will die with you during the backstage meeting. Who said that he said that? Um, this is this is what the guy said in court. So oh, that's yeah. that's their takeaway from it. My takeaway is we're at a place in society right now where it's okay to physically assault people over jokes. That's where we're right. at. And these people would lose their shit if they were around comedians back in the, the 70s and 80s. Oh my god, we we're talking about some of the comedians back then, George Carlin. Sam Kinison, Andrew Dice Clay, hell, even Robin Williams early on in his career. Whoopi Goldberg. Ro uh, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor was one of the quote unquote worst. I mean, he's funny as hell, but like you would lose your shit. Dave Chappelle, by comparison, is very tame. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I don't always like stuff Dave Chappelle does. And there's other comedians. I don't always agree with some of the jokes they make. But here's the thing. I'm like, well, I, 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 I guess it's not for me then. And I just move about my day. I'm not like, how am I going to sneak into an event with a gun disguised as a knife, which still blows my mind. And, 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 but, and, but I'm not meaning to harm him because he made a joke I didn't like. That's just crazy. Well. Uh, yeah, that, well, that's just it. And then they're like, well, this person's mentally ill. It's like, well, yeah. Clearly. He's got, some, got some mental issues. The problem is, is that there are more and more mentally ill people that are doing yes, stuff like maybe, this. Maybe it's time that we look at what we can do for mental health issues in this yeah. country. Because there are a lot of them. And a lot of people, people especially the pandemic and things that have gone on, a lot of people are in a really bad places right now. And I think there needs to be more done um, uh, for mental health. Flat out. Absolutely. And I don't understand why these people can't just turn Dave Chappelle off. I, I don't yeah, just, know. Yeah, don't watch it then. I, just don't watch it. Nobody's forcing so everybody it. tells us, don't like she don't watch it then. Don't watch you know? it. Don't like Clownfish TV. Don't watch don't it. Don't watch it then. Good luck. Go someplace else. Have fun. Else. We don't Go, care. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, we're going to talk about this insanity before we get into it any further. 
Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 268,000 subs. Woo-hoo! Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about pop culture. We talk about uh, Netflix. We've been talking about the Dave Chappelle situation because it has been uh, this huge uh, cancel culture issue. And surprisingly, uh, despite his his humor being very edgy and some people would say in poor taste, Netflix has actually doubled down on promoting him. Well, it's funny because that's when all this stuff started at Netflix, when they yeah. started changing stuff and, you know, and ramped up recently. But start purging uh, a lot of the activist employees. Right. As soon as the numbers dropped and they had grounds to do so, there they go. And, you know, look, it, it, this just goes beyond. I mean, I, the dude camp on stage with a, 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 a what would you call that, a knife gun? Uh, oh my God. Like a knife? <laughs> it's a gun blade, like Final Fantasy. I'm just like, it's well, skulls. there's some fantasy going on. Yeah, anyway. there's a lot of fantasy going on. So this is, I mean, the fact that, that a 20-something thinks it's okay to physically assault somebody over fucking jokes. And again, why were you there? You can't tell me you just happened to be there and like, oh my God, I was completely caught off guard. I, 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 I didn't understand what kind of show I was going to. And, and he said these things and I just, oh my God, I got triggered. It's like, you know exactly what kind of jokes this guy says. You were there for Wait, he said that's what happened? That he went to the show not knowing? No, he just said he was triggered by his oh, comment. Okay, I was going to say. So anyway, um, New York Post has it up. Uh, they said that uh, he was triggered. This LA man accused of attacking Dave Chappelle said he was triggered by the comedian's jokes about the LGBTQ community and homelessness uh, as he insisted he never wanted to harm the funny I didn't man. want to harm him, but I brought a knife blade. <laughs> I wanted, wait, no, gun blade. What about gun- it I'm so confused. A sling. Some people call I- it a sling blade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so confused. I like mustard. Mm-hmm. That was, that was, okay, so. We've side, talked about that. Side, side story. That was actually my grandfather's favorite movie. It was. And my grandmother's favorite movie was Misery. Yes. Says a I lot about. I remember when I. Says a lot about my family, I, showed I know. Your, how, when, you, when I first met you and we were like dating and I showed up and, and I was learning these things. And I remember I was sitting there like, oh my God. <laughs> It's like, yeah, my, at the time, 60, 70 something year old grandparents were into these like really dark movies. And I was just like, okay. Sling Blade's a good movie. Misery's a good movie. It just don't emulate those people. The, the whole purpose of the movies is to show you like, yeah, sometimes people can be awful. Anyway, in an exclusive jailhouse interview, Isaiah Lee told the Post that Chappelle should be more sensitive when it comes to the jokes he cracks. I'm bisexual and I wanted him to know what he said was triggering. Well, you could write a strong worded letter. Yeah. Dear Mr. Chappelle, you're a poopy, poopy, poop, right. poop go face. Go to Twitter and scream like everybody else. Yeah, just go to Twitter and scream like everybody no, else. No, your Stop. answer is to pay for the ticket and pay for it, give him money, and then bring a, 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 a whatever that is, gun blade. Your gun blade to your, yeah, right? Um, Dude got his arm snapped backwards. I mean, it was awful. I saw the video of them wheeling him out in a stretcher, and his arm was, like, freaking Ooh. just bent Well, he has backwards. wrapped up on his arm, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, he said it was triggering. I wanted him to know that the next time, he should consider first running his material by people it could affect. By committee. Run your... Co- right. And so you're never allowed to tell a joke any... Because let's be honest, no matter what you say, it's going to offend somebody. <laughs> Saying the sky is blue offends somebody. He expected to have a good time at the May 3rd Netflix is a joke show. Well, Okay. No, I don't believe this. You're Bullshit. Lying. You had one, you had that weapon on you. Okay. How'd you even get in? Well, apparently paid for a ticket or somebody paid no, no, for a ticket. No, no, but I mean, you'll usually... Do they With the weapon, check? yeah. How? I think they would be checking that. that. So they failed. Security failed. I mean, they didn't fail when it came to snapping his arm backwards, you know. But, uh, yeah, they, they clearly failed. He should not have been allowed into the venue. So I went to the that. Dave Chappelle thing where he's been known for these jokes and known yes. for triggering people. Yes. You're clearly somebody who's triggered by these things. You went in anger, you know, you're triggered by that stuff. You went to a show by somebody you know would trigger you. With a weapon. Yes. But you know, it was just uh, coincidentally, you were there. Bullshit. You went there specifically, in my opinion. And spent like, percent, like how much money to get in? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. So Dave Chappelle tickets. I don't know what the Netflix is a joke. Uh, you know, tickets are off the top of my head, but his ticket price is three, four hundred dollars is pretty, pretty average. Um, so, so the the person who was once homeless. Would yeah. Spend, with a and, and, and as a single parent of a five year old son. Spent all this money to go to a, a Netflix is a joke show that I didn't I didn't know that Dave Chappelle was going to make jokes at with a weapon 
But it was completely coincidental. It's just a complete coincidence. Oh my God. I never, I did not. Where did it come from? Where did, what? How did this get what? in my hand? He grew angry and frustrated as Chappelle joked about his prior controversies with the LGBTQ community as well as homelessness. I'm a single dad. My son is five, said Lee 23, who at one point was homeless himself. So was I. Uh, I was. And, and you, you didn't think it was necessary. You don't get mad. I know. I mean, I think back in those those days and I, I do like I'm like, what the hell? But uh, no, I don't blame Dave Chappelle and I sure as hell would not attack him on stage. You know, it's it's sucked. a Hollywood person out of touch. I mean, I just I just chalk it up to I that. Think, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's like, what, what are you gonna do? And I think Dave Chappelle's been through some shit. He's been through a lot of shit. Well, here's the life, thing: yeah. like, you know, like people, I, I I've gotten into issues, debates with people on the internet many, many times. <laughs> Shocker, I know, right? But a lot of it's that like people will get mad about people who who had like you know assistance or something like that, and you know, or needed wick or or something. And I would get mad about it, and people would be like, you know. It, I get it when people are like making it a, a lifestyle, but when people actually legitimately need help, that's what it's for. And I don't think it's really right to vilify people um, for needing help once in a while. So, you know, I, I, but I don't think if someone made a joke, I'm going to be like, I'm going to come there with my good knife and I'm going to stab you with good it. knife. Is that what we're going to call, call it? I keep calling it good knife. It's, it's like, good knife. It's like Gary Gnu. Remember Gary Gnu? Oh, I really no. am. Well, Great Space Coaster was this really obscure kid show. Back in the early 80s, and I used to watch reruns of it, and they had a, a Muppet puppet, and his, he was a new, but his name was Gary Gnu. No. I don't, well, it's I think I knife. probably – well, it's a good knife, or it was going to be a nun. So I figured a the good gun. knife was, was the better way to go than no, than a, gu, a gun knife would be a, a – a, a, a nun. A, yeah. Nun like, fight. A nun gun. Nun. So I thought good knife was a better way to go because nuns is too confusing. Anyway, I'm <laughs> completely confused. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, it's a struggle. I want Dave Chappelle to know it's not a joke. It's not funny. Well, it's, I mean, Why are you there? That's what that, <laughs> yes. I mean, a homelessness is not a joke. There's a lot of people who are in positions that they don't, they didn't, they, that some people put themselves there. A lot of people, some people didn't. But you know what? It's a comedy show. So, uh, comic relief back in the 80s, uh, there was some really raunchy humor. Mm hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of that, that money went to help homeless people. I'm just, <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, like, we had, you know, very, very raunchy comedians telling really raunchy, uh, uh, not very PC jokes back in the 80s. And then they donated the money to homelessness. Just saying. Because there's the thing. Comedians are, are funny. They make fun of everyone. That's the point. That's the point. They make fun of people who aren't LGBTQ or homeless as well. He says, breaking point came when another comedian in the show's lineup made a crude joke about pedophilia, uh, which he said dredged up memories about. Okay, this uh, dude should never go to a comedy show. The, the, yeah, I, yeah. The, he went there specifically to harass and or attack Dave Chappelle. You cannot tell me otherwise. I, I think this was intentional. Uh, the takedown at the Hollywood Bowl was caught on camera, showing Lee charging at Chappelle on stage, knocking him over and fleeing before security grabs him. Um, then Chappelle joked it was a trans man. Lee admitted that he was carrying a replica handgun with a retractable knife blade inside on the night of the alleged attack, attack but claimed he didn't have the weapon out when he charged the stage. He shouldn't have gotten through with that at all. Like, they failed. The security failed. Mm -hmm. He should not have Where'd it go? Oh, he didn't have it out. It was still in his coat. Yeah. It's like, what? You just didn't have time to get it out? I mean, what? The wannabe rapper, whose name goes by No Name Trapper. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> once put out a song about the Emmy winning comic. Oh, so he put a song out about Dave Chappelle said he always carries the weapon for protection because he's a minor celebrity. Uh, very minor. He put a song out. Well, you about know, you've heard of no name trapper. Duh. Obviously. Lee seen in a YouTube photo for his song. Dave Chappelle maintains. He didn't plan to harm the famous comedian. He did a song about Dave Chappelle. He's on the hood of a car flipping, flipping you off. And uh, he went to your show with a knife, but he didn't plan to hurt you. Honest. Does anybody believe this bullshit? No, I don't believe this bullshit. Um, they spat on me and twisted me as if on purpose. He said the security they guards probably did twist him because they're trying to stop him. <laughs> he said the security guards have left him with a broken arm and two black eyes. Well, you you attacked the guy on stage. What the fuck are they supposed to do? You know. I, I'm sorry they couldn't they couldn't uh, uh, escort you out to the limousine 
<laughs> I mean, you're not a celebrity. It's, I mean, I, 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 this whole situation is just really sad. This, I mean, somebody get this person help for it, real. Yeah, they talk about his mental health. I mean, it's, clearly, at the end of the day, mental health is 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 at the heart of this, and it's really sad how little is out there for people uh, when it comes to mental health and what you help you can get, and even what's out there a lot of times. Um, like you can get stuff that you can go and have therapy and stuff for like reduced cost or free, but a lot of times those therapists rotate, you know, constantly. Yeah. And it's yeah, I mean You have to start all over again with somebody new and you don't get anywhere. Well, here's the thing. Because of this, because of this, it's led to more criminal charges against him. Yeah, what about his five year old? He's a single dad with a five-year-old. What about the five? That's what I'm, I'm the whole time thinking. What happened to the kid? Well, he says that now because of this, he's probably not going to see his kid till he's like 20. Um, he said he was charged on Thursday with stabbing his stabbing his roommate last year. Can't imagine. I bet he didn't. Wait, I, he probably was carrying the same thing, but he didn't. He, he must have had time to get it out that time. It slipped. Oops. It was a complete accident. The victim in that case identified Lee as his alleged attacker when the Chappelle incident went viral. It was pretty much done, Lee said about his criminal case involving Chappelle. I wonder why all of a sudden yeah. it's gone back around. Yeah, because I, I thought it was I thought it was a misdemeanor. Uh went from me probably only doing six months in jail and having to do community service and living in a transitional home to possibly fifteen or more years in jail. He said, shaking his head. Wait. My son will be big by the time I get out. They don't fucking stab people. That's what I'm sitting here thinking. Wait, this is the, so he's going to jail, but he's going to jail for something that's not even really Chappelle. No, but because of the Chappelle thing, apparently he's going. That's why I'm like, man, this doesn't look like a misdemeanor to me. No, he's going to jail because his roommate came out and said, hey, he stabbed me too. Well, just you, just, <laughs> you said it doesn't mean it's going to stick. So there must have been evidence. I don't know. This thing is like, this has more twists and turns. He doesn't. The racetrack. He doesn't regret what happened. Because he saw it as an opportunity to speak out about homelessness, LGBTQ rights, and child abuse. Um, he did, He's not sorry. He's not sorry that he attacked Dave Chappelle and is probably not going to see his kid until his kid's a teenager. He's not sorry. Is he sorry for stabbing his roommate? Why did he stab his his roommate? He was watching Friends or something, and there's I don't, I don't Joey know. made a joke, I a don't bad know. joke. I I'm so confused. This is just... I... Again, we need more mental health um, things because I don't – Some this dude needed help a while ago. Yeah. I mean this is a failure of, of uh, you know, the people that were supposed to be looking out for him. A hundred percent. People yeah. looking out for him because basically the way it read was he got, you know, abused when he was in care of the of the city or whatever. And, and, and I like that this doesn't happen, but it does. And it's a horrible thing. Um and I do feel bad to a point, but I'm also like, but he, they, he just took it way too far. There's a lot of people that are abused. That's what gets me. There's a lot of people who suffer abuse and they don't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, it's just, and everybody's different. This is just. It's just so awful on so many levels, but yet so, what the hell on so many levels. Th this is just absolutely crazy. And Chappelle, I know Chappelle was was pissed. I heard he was either dressing a guy down backstage or he, I don't know, if he was like threatening to well, take a punch or something. Well, that's what he said. He said that, you know. I mean, he comes from a pretty tough background. So I know. He's, he's, you know. I don't know. I, I, okay, don't go see Dave Chappelle if you're going to get triggered. Don't go see any comedian if you're going to get triggered. Problem solved. Take your money and then go, okay, take your money that you would have paid to see Dave Chappelle and go donate it to, you know, abuse victims or a homeless there shelter. You go. There you go. Or everybody go out and, and, you know, donate some money to homeless shelters or things like that, and, you know, in the in the name of the victim. I don't know. I'm just like, you could have done other things. There's more positive things you could have done. So now you're going to miss out on your kid growing up because you had a, an axe to grind with Dave Chappelle. And the, pro the problem here is that it was for nothing because, if anything, this story – made Dave Chappelle more popular. Well, you, know, you know, it's like when they had the Thanksgiving with the pie, and they're like, I burnt my pie. Thank you, Marie Callender. Yeah. That's what this reminds me Thanks, of. Thanks, Dave Chappelle. I'm going to jail for years for something unrelated to your com comedy your comedy show. Thank you. It's all your fault. Because I wouldn't have got caught if people hadn't seen me on the news. God, this is... I'm just like, what? This is ridiculous. I, I mean, I'm sorry. Oh my it's God. like, I, I, can feel, I can feel sympathy to a certain point, but I get to a point where I'm like... You obviously have some issues, and you, regardless of whether or not you have issues, Dave Chappelle doesn't deserve to possibly be stabbed over fucking jokes. No. You know, that's ridiculous. And like I said, why did you go? 
Why do, do you know why he went? Yeah, I know. You know exactly why he went. I'm just like, if went. you really want to change his man, you really want to bring attention to issues, use your minor celebrity status to go and um, bring attention to issues, to go and use that money that you spent there to go do, you know, feed the homeless people or go work at a homeless, you know, something from the homeless for their soup kitchen or do something out there in the community, you know? There's so many different ways you could you could totally address it. Do something, you know, uh, to stop child abuse. There's so many positive things you could have done. Now that's hard. It's just easier to it's just not that bl hard. blame a comedian and try to take him down in front. Because I think you honestly thought I'd, I'd be a hero. I'd be the one that took down Dave Chappelle. I don't know what he thought. I don't, know I don't think we're, any of us are going to understand what he thought because clearly he's not thinking the way that most people think. I, I've tried to understand people where they're coming from when they have you know issues uh, in regards to us even. And I'm like, the problem is I can't, I can't, relate to where they're coming from because to me it makes zero sense uh, you know so it's like i'm just like i have absolutely no idea what the fuck you're talking about or why this makes you so angry but okay yeah i don't know but i'm just okay then I'm and that's that's the answer it's like what's the motivation and then you're really like, you know what and here's just... something too because of this he's telling totally, what happened to him being in the system he just put his five-year-old there yeah yeah so congratulations uh for that and I, i'm 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 I mean, I'm very sorry for the kid. I'm very sorry for the That's kid. That's all I could think about this whole yeah. time. So anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, Dave Chappelle is going to go on to make millions and millions more dollars. Right. And your sacrificing your child did nothing to stop it. No. And, so, it, and yeah. Congratulations. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.